Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. It's now time for the featured bout of the evening. From the four corners of the world, to the four corners of this ring, the fight starts now! It is a February Friday in New York City, and the weather outside is as frigid as it's been all winter long. But inside Madison Square Garden, we are ready for fireworks. Matchroom Boxing's 2023 opener now one day away as we continue the countdown to Serrano Cruz on Saturday night. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Justin Shackle welcoming you back to New York City as we get set for Matchroom Boxing's weigh-in from the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden, where we are getting set for a pair of undisputed female fights. Tomorrow night on DAZN, the seven-division world champion Amanda Serrano steps back inside the ring to take on the WBA featherweight champion Erica Cruz for the right to be crowned undisputed at 126 pounds. In the co-feature, it's the unified super featherweight champion, Alicia Baumgartner, putting all her hardware on the line as she takes on Francis Ellen Mechelad to be crowned undisputed at 130 pounds. There are nine bouts in total, five of which will feature women. And we heard Matchroom Chairman Eddie Hearn say yesterday's press conference, that was done unintentionally, but it is a great sign and it illustrates the continuous rise of women's boxing as we get going here in 2023. There are 10 fighters putting their undefeated records on the line tomorrow night. There will be six fights with title implications as well. Of course, none bigger than the two we mentioned moments ago. Back to back undisputed title fights here at the Garden. Serrano and Cruz and Bumgarner and Mechalad. We could theoretically, barring a draw of course, crown just the seventh and eighth undisputed world champions in the four belt era in women's boxing history. All eyes on Amanda Serrano, not only to see whether or not she can become undisputed at what she calls her signature weight, the weight class that means the most to her, 126 pounds, but also if she gets through here, what will come next? Will it be a rematch with Katie Taylor? Those two tangled here in the big room at Madison Square Garden back on April the 30th in a building that was crowned the fight of the year by many critics back in 2022. Will we see the rematch? There are the rumors, of course, that it could take place in Ireland, but are the two on board as we get ready to go here in 2023? Alicia Bumgarner making her mark across the seas, now the Detroit native back home on American soil, and a chance for her to accomplish something that has been on her mind ever since she began as a pro. She unified back in October in her defeat over Michaela Mayer, now a chance to become undisputed at 1.30. But like we mentioned though, the main event, it's Serrano, back in her home arena, the Hulu Theater, here at Madison Square Garden, as she tries to become undisputed at featherweight. Amanda, the real deal, Serrano! Seven weight classes, seven-time world champion, Erika Cruz! She's just a straight fighter. It doesn't get much bigger than this! She wants to make history. Some of the scenes there from Taylor Serrano back in April. We are with an individual who was part of that event. It was the heavy hitting diva herself, Franchon Cruz Desern, the undisputed champ at 168 pounds. And I know you're going to be watching closely fight night tomorrow because there is a title eliminator at 168 champ between Shadeja Green and Elin Sederus. But let's go back to April 1st. Yeah. When you think back to that night, at the big room at Madison Square Garden, what pops into your head first? I mean, every time I come here, I get chills because I, you know, it's such an iconic moment. I share with my mentor, Bernard Hopkins, and just to know that the women, we did our thing and set the tone for so many other great fights to follow. I'm just honored. When you take a look at what's going to be happening between uh, Shadeza Green, many people call her like the, the 
best kept secret in women's boxing going up against Elin. What, what stands out to you? I know you've been in the ring with Elin. I know you've probably heard about Green. What do you think of that matchup? Well, I mean, Elin's been been very proven. Like, she went and won each of her titles from former uh, world world contenders, world champions. And I've been in there with her. And she she's going to go to the last bell. Um, Miss Green, she has a, a lot to prove tonight. And I know she's up for the task. And this is her moment. You know, I, look, I'm a competitor. I'm an ambassador for women's boxing. And just to see the sport grow means a lot to me. But whoever the best woman is going to win, and then they're going to have to see me. Is that what's going to be coming up next for you? Um, no, I have a couple things on the table. I'm working. You know, my show doesn't stop for anybody. It's the Heavy Hit Diva show. But um, my manager, Peter Kahn, and I are working some things out. But I'll be getting active 2023. Well, Peter Kahn has a few fighters on this card as well. You have Aaron Aponte coming up. Uh, I know he's a South Florida guy. Pretty, You reside there as well, right? I, I split my camps up between okay. D.C. and uh, Florida. What stands out to you about Aaron? You know what? I love him. I love his journey. The fact that he didn't take the easy way. A lot of fighters these days, they want to get, you know, babysat through the professionals. And getting groomed and babysit two different things. He had he had a couple, well, a lot of tough fights. But I talked to him yesterday, and he's still up for the challenge. He just wants to keep developing and keep fighting these uh, fights to prove himself. Aaron Aponte is going to be taking on Joshua Rivera on the before the bell card. And uh, Peter Kahn has a, a, another fighter on this card, Avril Mathy, yeah. uh, going up against Ramla Ali. What do you know about Avril? Well, Avril, I mean, you know, I see her when I'm in a gym down in Florida. She's a very hard worker. Uh, she's a she's about her business, in and out the ring. And I respect that. And, you know, Ramla is a tough fighter. And they're both fashion it girls, so I can't complain. I have multiple interests. <laughs> Who's the sharper dresser? Am I putting you on the spot by asking you that question? Look, <laughs> you know Ramla's my girl. I'm not even going to hold you, but Ramla is that girl. <laughs> so we have Jadeja Green, Elon Setters. That's the big one that the champ here will be watching. Let's go back to that match, though, uh, between you and Setters in April. The biggest takeaway from that match for you was what? One, um, I respect her because she's an all-around athlete. And just we both put everything on the line. If it wasn't getting bloody faces, it was... You know, a whole lot going on, but we both put on the show. I think it was just bigger than us fighting. It was adding to the legacy of women's boxing and a historic night. Elin Sederus, uh, when, when you, obviously you're in the ring with her, uh, gave her her first loss. When you think about a fighter trying to come back, trying to get a rematch as well, just what, what's, take us through a fighter's mentality as they try to kind of climb back from adversity. Well, as you know, I started my career off with a loss. And a true champion mindset is to learn from your mistakes. Uh, I saw her yesterday, and she really didn't have a lot to say, but I'm ready. I'm ready. So I can see that she's very, um, she's very eager to prove herself. And it feels like deja vu for her, pro probably. Fighting here at Madison Square Garden, uh, having an opportunity for another shot at the world titles. So I know her being a soccer player, her being a, a former world champion, that she's up for the task. All right, French, I know you're going to be watching that closely tomorrow night. A lot of other fighters that you're going to be having your eye on as we get the 2023 opener started here at the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden. Thanks for coming up and joining with us. Thank you for, for having now, me. We are going to hit the scales with David Diamante. We are going to get started in just a few moments for the weigh-in. We were, of course, joined moments ago by Franchon Cruz de Zern. Just in a few moments, we will have the fighters hit the scales. Again, nine fights coming up on Saturday night, five of which you could see on Before the Bell. That gets started at 4.15 Eastern on Saturday night from the Hulu Theater. And then we have four cards on the main event. You are uh, going to see the matchroom debut of Yankel Rivera, one of the newest matchroom signees who inked the deal with matchroom boxing last month. And we will be seeing Richardson Hitchens put his undefeated record on the line against John Bowser. Two undefeated fighters going at it. Their regional titles on the line in that fight. You heard both of them chirping at the press conference yesterday. That was probably the highlight of the press conference here at the Hulu Theater yesterday. Two fighters that know one another pretty well, pretty familiar, both from the tri-state area region here in New York City. 
Bowser originally from northern New Jersey, now spends his time in Puerto Rico. Richardson Hitchens uh, from Brooklyn as he fights at MSG for the first time in his pro career. He's made a name for himself in Brooklyn, but this will be the first time he's fighting at MSG. He was all smiles when asked about that yesterday afternoon following the press conference. But those two know one another pretty well. They've sparred with one another in the past, and there was really no animosity between the two fighters before they got on stage yesterday, but both talking smack to one another. Bowser's father even got into the mix, pulling up some YouTube footage uh, from their sparring sessions. And that was very, very entertaining. It all leads up to the two undisputed bouts set for tomorrow night. Alicia Baumgartner against Ellen Mekalad. Baumgartner, of course, bursted onto the scene when she defeated Terry Harper for the first piece of the puzzle back in the fall of 2021. Made a couple of defenses, met up with Michaela Mayer, was able to unify back in October in London. Hard to believe none of that happened on U.S. soil. Tomorrow night will be the first time that she appears as a champion in the United States. It's going to happen at a terrific venue in Madison Square Garden. And for the main event, Amanda Serrano, mind you, 30 knockouts. A lot of people forget that because it's been a couple of years since her last stoppage. But we know she packs the power. We saw it especially in that fifth round against Katie Taylor back in April. But it was present throughout that fight. A split decision that went towards Katie Taylor. She emerged victorious. There are plenty of people who thought Amanda Serrano came away victorious, but it's a big reason why we have been clamoring for that rematch here in 2023. As you see, the crowd continues to file in just outside the Hulu Theater here at Madison Square Garden as we get set to hit the scales in New York City. Matchroom Chairman Eddie Hearn on hand on stage, and David Diamante will be here in a few moments. There you see the WBC Silver Championship. That will be on the line tomorrow for Sky Nicholson as she takes on Tanya Alvarez. That's going to be the main card on our Before the Bell show. Also joining her on Before the Bell, Ramla Ali taking on Avril Mathy, the fighter that you heard Franchon Cruz Desern talk about just a few moments ago, Ramla Ali, Avril Mathi, both undefeated. There is Aaron Aponte, the Alien King, 6-0-1. Oh, They'll be in action for eight rounds, trying to not necessarily come back, but bounce back after a thrilling draw against Angel Molina on the Canelo Triple G3 undercard back in September. He'll be taking on the individual you see on your screen right here, Joshua David Rivera, who was 8-1, making his U.S. debut. Those two will start it off on the before the bell card again at 4.15 Eastern. The entire card highlighted by back-to-back -back undisputed title fights here in New York City. We are ready to go to hit the scales and begin the weigh-in show from New York City. Without further ado, here's David Diamante. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute pleasure to welcome everybody here today to the Hulu Theater in the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, New York, New York, USA. Tonight, we kick off our 2023 season. We have a great year of boxing ahead, and Saturday night, we have a great fight card here. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing, and all the action will go out live around the world exclusively on the zone. We're sponsored by Stagefront, Crowd RX, and Renaissance Hotels. It's a great fight card. We've got nine fights, six title fights, and at the top of the bill, two undisputed world championship fights. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's go ahead and bring the fighters up to the stage so they can face the scale and face each other. Our first contest, eight rounds in the super lightweight division. Making his way to the stage with a professional record of eight wins, one defeat, five wins coming by way of knockout. From La Mesa, California, the pretty boy, Joshua David Rivera. Rivera. And his opponent now making his way to the stage. Perfect professional record. Six fights. Pardon me. Six wins, no defeats. He has one draw. He fights out of Hialeah Gardens, Florida. Please welcome the Alien King, Aaron Aponte. Aponte. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen. The pretty boy. 
Joshua David Rivera. 138.8 for Joshua David Rivera, 138.8. And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the alien king, the undefeated Aaron Aponte. A trim and ready 138.6 for the alien king, 138.6 for Aaron Aponte. Aponte versus Rivera, eight round super lightweights matchroom boxing, Madison Square Garden, Saturday night. Aponte 6 0 oh, 1, Rivera 8 in 1. Aaron Aponte making his second appearance at the Hulu Theater. He first fought here in August of 2021, where he knocked out Gerardo Gonzalez. In the second round, he is in search of another stoppage victory here this Saturday night to start off his 2023 campaign as he takes on again the 8-1 Joshua David Rivera out of La Mesa, California. His entire pro career has taken place south of the border in Mexico. He is very amped up for his first U.S. fight. Let's go back to the stage with David Diamante. Our next contest, six rounds in the lightweight division. Now making his way to the stage, his professional record, four victories against two defeats. He has two wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de Ciudad de México, Distrito Federal, please welcome Julio Duro Madera. Madera. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, his young professional record thus far perfect, four fights, four victories, three of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, please welcome Harley Maderos. Maderos. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, Julio Madera. One thirty three point six, one thirty three point six for Julio Madera. Now to the scale, Harley Maderos. One thirty four point two for the undefeated Brooklynite. One thirty four point two for Harley Maderos. Maderos versus Madera, six rounds, lightweights, matchroom boxing, live on the zone from Madison Square Garden. Harley Maderos and Julio Madera. I think you're going to see a lot of explosiveness in this fight in terms of power punching and aggression. We saw Julio Madera last year knock down Mark Castro in the second round of their fight. It was a fight that Castro went on to win, though Madera popped on our radar, radar with that performance, and he is nicknamed Duro. He is very durable. How he matches up against Harley Maderos, again, an undefeated 4-0 fighter, three knockouts, all three KOs have come in the first round of his fights. He is looking for a third straight KO this Saturday night. Let's go back to the stage with David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, next contest of the evening is brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing in association with MVP Promotions as they're proud to present 10 rounds of boxing for the WBC Silver. 
the vacant WBA Continental Americas, and the WBC and WBA Super Middleweight World Title Eliminators. Now making her way to the stage, her professional record, eight victories, one defeat. She has four wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Vesterua, Sweden. Please welcome the former WBA and IBF Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Aileen Seadrews. Seadrews. And her opponent now making her way to the stage. Her professional record, a perfect one. 11 fights, 11 victories, 10 of her 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the reigning, the defending, and the undefeated WBC Silver Super Middleweight Champion fighting out of Patterson, New Jersey, the Sweet Terminator, Shadesha Green. Green. Now to the scale, Aileen Seadrews. One sixty seven point four for Alien Seadrews. One sixty seven point four. And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the sweet terminator, Shadesha Green. One sixty seven point two. One sixty seven point two for the undefeated Shadesha Green. Green versus Seadrews, 10 rounds for the WB Silver, the vacant WBA Continental Americas, and the WBC and WBA World Title Super, Lim Super Middleweight Eliminator. Matchroom Boxing in association with MVP Promotions, Madison Square Garden, live on the zone. Elin Cedarus, the former IBF and WBA super middleweight champion of the world. We saw her in action back in April on the Taylor Serrano undercard. She is trying to redeem herself after picking up her first career defeat against Franchon Cruz de Zern. And it is a task in front of her being Shadeja Green, trying to really establish her coming out party in the uh, forefront of women's boxing. 11-0, 10 knockouts for the Patterson, New Jersey native, looking to make a statement. She's regarded as one of the best kept secrets in women's boxing. She's trying to become a secret no more this Saturday night at the Hulu Theater here at Madison Square Garden. Again, 10 rounds for the WBC Silver Super Middleweight Championship. Let's go back to the stage with David. Ladies and gentlemen, the weigh-in continues our next contest. Ten rounds for the vacant IBF Intercontinental Junior Featherweight Championship. Now making her way to the stage, she is undefeated in her campaign as a professional with a record of eight wins, no defeats, one draw. Fighting out of Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, please welcome Avril Mathy. Mathy. And her opponent now making her way to the stage. She is also undefeated in her career as a professional with a record of seven victories, no defeats, two of her wins coming by way of knockout. She fights out of the Bethnal Green area in the east end of London, England by way of Mogadishu, Somalia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated Ramla Ali. Ali. Now to the scale, Avril Mathy. One twenty one point four for Avril Mathy, one twenty one point four. And now to the scale, the undefeated Ramla Ali. Also 121.4, 121.4 for Ramla Ali.
Ali versus Matthew. 10 rounds for the vacant IBF Intercontinental Junior Featherweight Championship. Matchroom Boxing live on DAZN from Madison Square Garden. Both undefeated fighters weighing in at 121.4 for this super bantamweight clash. Reminder, Avril Mathi, a natural 118-pounder. She's making the jump up to 122, not only for this terrific opportunity, but also the step up in competition as Ali and Mathi put their undefeated records on the line for an IBF regional title. Let's go back to the stage with David for our main bout on Before the Bell. Ladies and gentlemen, the weigh-in continues in our next contest. Scheduled for 10 rounds for the vacant WBC Silver Featherweight Championship. Now making her way to the stage, she is undefeated in her campaign as a professional with a record of seven wins, no defeats, one win coming by way of knockout. She fights out of Barcelona, Spain. Please welcome Tanya Alvarez. <laughs> Alvarez. And her opponent now making her way to the stage. She's a southpaw, also with an undefeated record. Five fights, five victories. Fighting out of Queensland, New South Wales, Australia. Please welcome the 2020 Olympian, the Commonwealth Games gold medalist, and the reigning and undefeated Commonwealth featherweight champion, Sky Nicholson. Nicholson. Now to the scale, please. Tanya Alvarez. One twenty four point eight for Tanya Alvarez. One twenty four point eight. And now to the scale, the undefeated Sky Nicholson. One twenty-five point six for Sky Nicholson. One twenty-five point six for the undefeated Sky Nicholson. Nicholson versus Alvarez, 10 rounds for the vacant WBC Silver Featherweight Championship. Matchroom Boxing, live on the zone from Madison Square Garden. Oh, all eyes on the handshake there. They did not shake hands at yesterday's press conference, but a pair of undefeated fighters going at it once again tomorrow night. And Tanya Alvarez, at 21 years of age, it will be making history tomorrow. She's set to become the first Spanish woman to fight at Madison Square Garden. Sky Nicholson will be making her third U.S. appearance, last in action in her homeland of Brisbane back in October, where she picked up her first pro title, a Commonwealth title. Now she has her sights set on this WBC regional belt, and she looks to keep climbing the ladder and hopefully put herself in position for world title contention later in 2023. It's time to weigh in for the main card. Back to David we go. Ladies and gentlemen from Madison Square Garden, the weigh-in continues in our next contest, eight rounds in the flyweight division. Please welcome to the stage at this time with a record of 11 wins, two defeats, one draw, three of his wins coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Riverside, California. Please welcome Fernando Leoncito Diaz. Diaz.
And his opponent now making his way to the stage. His young professional record thus far perfect. Two fights, two victories. Both of his victories coming by way of knockout. He's a 2020 Olympian fighting out of Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Please welcome Yankiel Dr. Cito Rivera. Rivera. Now to scale, Leoncito Fernando Diaz. One eleven point eight, one hundred and eleven point eight pounds for Leoncito Fernando Diaz. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the young undefeated Puerto Rican Olympian, Yankiel Dr. Cito Rivera. One twelve point four for Yankiel, one twelve point four for Dr. Cito Yankiel Rivera. Rivera versus Diaz, eight rounds, flyweights, matchroom boxing, live on the zone from Madison Square Garden. Fernando Diaz coming in at 11, two and one with three knockouts, the Riverside, California native, participating in his sixth fight in the U.S. And there you see Yankel Rivera, one of the newest matchroom signees in North America, 2-0 and so far, two KOs, the 2020 Puerto Rican Olympian getting ready to go here in New York City, and he is going to have plenty of Puerto Rican support. You heard the cheers when he stepped on the scales, and that is only a fraction of what you're going to be hearing tomorrow night as he fights on the same card as Amanda Serrano, so they are going to bring it from start to finish all throughout this card tomorrow night at the Hulu Theater at MSG as they cheer on one of their own in Yankee Rivera. Time for the next weigh-in. Back to David we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the weigh-in continues our next contest. Again, two young undefeated fighters going head-to-head. -head. Great contest as they go 10 rounds for the IBF North American Junior Welterweight Championship. And now making his way to the stage, he's a southpaw with a perfect record. 17 fights, 17 victories, seven of them coming by way of knockout. He fights out of North Bergen, New Jersey, by way of Catano, Puerto Rico. Please welcome John El Terrible Bauza. Bauza. And his opponent now making his way to the stage, as I mentioned, also a perfect professional record. 15 fights, 15 victories, seven of them coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of the beautiful, the beautiful borough of Brooklyn, New York, here is the 2016 Olympian and the reigning, defending, and undefeated IBF North American super lightweight champion. Please welcome Richardson Hitchens. Hitchens. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, El Terrible. Please welcome John Balza. One thirty-nine, bang on, one hundred and thirty-nine pounds for El Terrible, John Balza. Now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated Richardson Hitchens. One thirty-nine point six. For Richardson Hitchens, 139.6 for the undefeated Richardson Hitchens.
Richardson Hitchens, Don Bowser. 10 rounds for the IBF North American Junior Welterweight Championship. Matchroom Boxing, live on the zone from Madison Square Garden. Well, the electricity in this room picking up just a bit here as Bowser and Hitchens face off. Of course, chirping yesterday at the press conference. Bowser calling into question the power of Hitchens and the legitimacy of Bowser's undefeated record at 17-0 called into question by Hitchens. They will go at it toe-to-toe -to -toe tomorrow night for a regional strap here at the Hulu Theater. Again, 10 rounds between those two, both with local ties. Hitchens, of course, from the Flatbush section of Brooklyn, and Bowser, who now resides in Puerto Rico, originally growing up in North Burger, New Jersey. That is how they've come to know each other from their younger days as amateurs. They sparred plenty, and now they will tangle as pros tomorrow night. Uh, Bowser, 24 years of age, Hitchens, 25, as he fights at MSG for the first time. Now it's time for the weigh-in to our co-feature. Back to David we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to weigh in the co-main event of the evening as Matchroom Boxing in association with King's Promotion are proud to present 10 rounds of boxing for the undisputed Super Featherweight Championship of the World. And now making her way to the stage, her professional record, 15 victories, one defeat. She has three wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of noisy le grand Paris, France. Please welcome the European and the former WBC interim world champion, Elam, the Diamond Mecheled. Mecheled. And her opponent now making her way to the stage. A professional record, 13 victories, one defeat. She has seven wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, USA. Here is the reigning and defending WBC, IBF, WBO, and IBO Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Alicia, the Bomb Bumgardner. Bumgardner. And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ella Mechaled. One twenty-nine for Ella Mechaled. One hundred and twenty-nine pounds for the diamond. And now to the scale, ladies and gentlemen, Alicia, the bomb Bumgardner. Also 129 pounds, 129 pounds for Alicia Bumgardner. Alicia Bumgardner, Ella Mecheled. 10 rounds for the undisputed Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Matchroom Boxing in association with King's Promotions, live on the zone from Madison Square Garden. This is all part of the fight week process, but you could tell that this is a moment that Alicia Bumgardner has been relishing as she makes her first appearance on U.S. soil as a world champion. Remember, she built this brand, built up the top part of her career here now across the sea in the U.K., and now she has a chance to become undisputed on her home soil here in New York City. The crowd behind her as she took the scales and faced off with Alan Mekalad, the 15-1 fighter, has a chance to become undisputed champion in her own right. 
ironically, following her first pro defeat. So it'll be Baumgartner and Mechelad tomorrow night in the co-feature for the undisputed championship at 130 pounds. That all sets us up for the main event. Amanda Serrano going up against Erica Cruz. And Serrano, the unified champ at 126. Cruz, the WBA champ, they are ready to go to hit the scales. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's an absolute pleasure to welcome everybody here today to the theater inside Madison Square Garden, the Hulu Theater in the world's most famous arena for the official weigh-in for a big main event happening here on Saturday night. As Matchroom Boxing, in association with MVP Promotions, are proud to present 10 rounds of boxing for the undisputed featherweight championship of the world. And now making a way to the stage, please welcome with a professional record of 15 victories against only one defeat. She has three wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de Ciudad de Mexico, Distrito Federal. Saturday night, she'll be making her third defense of her world title. She is the reigning and defending WBA featherweight champion of the world, Erica Dinamita Cruz. Cruz. And her opponent now making her way to the stage. Her professional record, 43 victories, two defeats, one draw, with 30 big wins coming by way of knockout. She is a nine-time seven-division world champion, Ayanacio in Carolina, Puerto Rico, and raised here in Bushwick, Brooklyn, New York, USA. Here is the hard-hitting and highly decorated women's boxing southpaw sensation, the reigning and defending WBC, IBF, WBO, and IBO featherweight champion of the world, La Gran Campeon de Puerto Ricania, Amanda, the real deal, Serrano. Serrano. And out of the scale, Erica Dinamita Cruz. One twenty-five point four for Erica Cruz. One twenty-five point four for Dinamita. And out of the scale, Amanda, the real deal, Serrano. Also, 125.4 for Amanda Serrano. 125.4 for Amanda, the real deal, Serrano. Amanda Serrano, Erica Cruz, 10 rounds for the undisputed featherweight championship of the world. Matchroom Boxing in association with MVP Promotions, live on zone from Madison Square Garden. The final face-off for the latest chapter of Mexico versus Puerto Rico here in the sport of boxing, a mega fight. And it is for the undisputed marbles at 126 pounds. Amanda Serrano, who you see there, 43-2-1. And, and Erica Cruz, 15-1, and one, putting her WBA featherweight title on the line against the unified champ in Serrano. Serrano trying to become undisputed for the first time in her illustrious career and become Puerto Rico's first undisputed champion in the four belt era. Cruz aiming to become 
Mexico's second undisputed champion, of course, joining Canelo Alvarez by accomplishing that feat. It'll be very interesting as we get set for tomorrow night. Cruz and Serrano, Hulu Theater at MSG will be popping as we begin the 2023 action here in New York City. Back-to-back -back undisputed title fights. Everybody making weight. We are ready to go with six title fights tomorrow night. Until then, for our entire Matchroom crew, this is Justin Shackle. Reminder, 8 p.m. Eastern, the main card on zone. Join us on Before the Bell coming up at 4.15 Eastern. Chris Algieri and myself will have the call for you from the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden. Until then, we say goodnight from New York City. Amanda, the real deal, Seven weight classes, seven-time world champion. Vega, through. She's just a straight fighter. It doesn't get much bigger than this. She wants to make history.